It's the source. You're telling me. It's connected to all those cables. So be careful you don't get shocked. This is a neat looking boss though. Look at that thing. This is the Hermit, as we've seen. Now, the big reason I'm on Kusimitama at the start is because he has auto, auto Raku Kaga. So I'm gonna get off him and go straight down to Takemi Kazuchi. Uh, Tactic-wise, everybody can just go all out. For the time being, anyway. And I'm going to... Rakunda. It actually absorbs electric, which we just learned. It's neutral to everything else, though. Electricity doesn't work on it. Give it your best shot. Now, Shinjiro being a oh, this is gonna hurt a little. Except for me. Uh, Shinjiro is also a little higher level since he's one of the newer recruits. We don't have to worry too much about him. He knows regeneration, which is nice, and mostly uses physical attacks, which hurt himself. So we're gonna have to pay attention to healing him when the need arises. The regeneration does help offset that, though. I mean, it's 6 HP. There we go. The shadow has a lot of electricity charged up. Please be careful. Okay, so this is an attack, so to say. Uh, probably one of the bigger threats that he can do, but as long as you're prepared for it, it's really not that big a deal. Um, he will charge up, and then three turns later, he'll attack, and it'll hurt. Except for me and Akihiko. Because he's strong and I'm immune. So I'm just gonna poke him again. Oh, by the way, if you crit him, it breaks the charge, so he essentially wasted a turn. And if my luck holds out, he'll go, hey, I'm supposed to be charging, and just start charging again next turn. Oh no! That hurt a little. Okay, that's my thing wearing off. Uh, Shinjiro could use some healing. Hey, Mitsuru. Understood. I'm gonna keep poking. Dang it! Hang in there. Like, as long as you're prepared, this fight is not hard at all. Like, even if he killed Mitsuru and Shinjiro, like, between me and Aki Hiko, he just couldn't kill us. All he does is use electric attacks. I really wish I didn't waste my turn because I wanted to set her back on offense. There we go. Now that he's charging, I actually feel comfortable getting off of this persona should the need arise. But now I don't need to anymore. Understood. Oh, you do not have defense down anymore, so I'm actually going to raccoon to you again. I find it very interesting that they make the full moon bosses turn one. That they make the full moon bosses 
so much easier than the going up Tartarus bosses. Turn two, which means next turn he's going to wreck some face. Which means I actually want to stay on this. Uh, Mitsuru, heal. Everyone else just beat on him. Shinjiro. There's a conserve H or conserve SP. It would be really nice if there was a conserve HP option. Oh well. He's like, I want him to just punch the thing. But as long as he has HP, he's gonna keep using HP moves. So if Mitsuru's gonna heal him, um, I've got my persona on, so I guess I'm just gonna poke him. The enemy is weak. Keep it as soon as the enemy gets weak, oh man! I've been waiting for this. Okay. Heck yeah! We're gonna beat him before he even gets a chance to do anything. That's hilarious. Okay, let's try tactics. Everybody wrecks some face. Dang it. Um, of note is his uh, charge, if you actually let it go full for the full three turns, will do negligible damage to Akihiko. Ow. Hey, it stood me back up, thanks. It'll do negligible damage to Akihiko, but even if they are at full HP, it will bring Mitsuru and Shinjiro down to almost nothing. I think it'll do probably around about three quarters of their total HP. So if they're down a little bit, they'll be like on death store. It'd probably kill both of them with as much HP as they have right now even. So that's a thing. I'm just gonna kill this piece of crap. Yay! Yay! That went well. Congratulations! I no longer sense its presence. Oh, and also... Wait a minute, we're not even in the basement. We're on stage. I think I found Junpei. Heck yeah. He's back at the dorm, but something seems strange. The chairman's there too, so he should be okay. But let's hurry back just in case. Seems they've completed their mission. What? You can tell? Yes, through Medea's eyes. Medea? My friend. Chidori. That's not important. Why didn't you call off the mission? You think he actually could have? Is it worth your life? Dying is what people fear most. Isn't it? That depends. Well, I've never actually given anyone orders before. They wouldn't listen to me anyway. You see, uh, I'm not really the one in charge. So you were lying earlier. Why? I don't understand. Hey, 
Answer me this. Was it all just an act? Us meeting. Your wound, the picture. Were you just setting me up? Now that I think about it, that cut healed pretty quickly. <laughs> I see how it is. That was... Junpei? They're back already? <gasps> She's a Persona user. Medea, come. Chidori, stop! No! Give it back! Hmm? When did she... Sorry, but we can't let you use this. Medea! didn't sense her up until this very moment. This is my only power, and yet... If even Fuka couldn't sense her, then she must have some sort of power to conceal her presence. I didn't have the slightest clue she was here. of the group that goes by the name Strega. I have a number of questions for you. I'm not afraid of dying. Sidori! Medea! I'm... <sighs> Clearly, she's emotionally unstable. We'll let her rest, and save our questions for later. Shidori. Yeah, she's... Especially with even her gun taken away. Or, well, her evoker taken away. She changed... Right quick. Attack fall, and that's the last thing I ever want to do. Why would I ever use that? Well, at least as far as we know, there's only three members of Strega, and now we've got one of them. So I guess we're off to a little bit better start. Whatever the crap's going on with her, though. There's just no easy way to tell what's going on with her, whether she meant anything with Junpei, whether she was leading them on, or actually meant it. Like, she's just everywhere. I think emotionally unstable is actually probably one of the better descriptions for that one. I'll ask you once more. Is Chidori your real name? What kind of organization is Strega? Are there others besides you three? You think just grilling her like that's actually gonna get any, get any actually gonna get any answers? Come on. Hey, wait, Junpei. You're not supposed to be here, remember? Junpei does what he wants. Chidori. Junpei. <sighs> Sorry, he wouldn't stop bugging me about this place. <laughs> How are you feeling? Seems like you've calmed down. 
she certainly has. In fact, she won't say a word. Maybe we should confiscate her sketchbook, too. Hey, come on. What good would that do? I feel like that would just make things worse. That won't make her talk. I'm not so sure about that. You no, know, I, I feel like Junpei knows more about what's going on here than you do, Mitsuru. She was quite upset when we took her evoker. Yeah, but she also didn't say anything useful. Speaking of which, where did you get that? Medea! Give it back to me! I want her back! Hey, I told you not to bring that up, didn't I? Then what am I supposed to do? I'll have someone else try next time. Yukari, call a nurse. We're done for today. I'll inform Yukutsuki san of the difficulties we're having. Why? Why did you take it from me? Medea! Come on, Junpei, let's go. Chidori, wh what happened to you? I'd say it sounds a whole lot like her persona means a great deal to her. And I'll say that not just her, but all of Strega has a very interesting history. Today is the sixth of nine. Not gonna be doing anything today. I think we're far enough into the recording. We could use a decent break after having dealt with all of that. So, until next time, everyone, we're gonna go on to in on into Sunday, where we can actually go on and accomplish a thing, maybe. Until then. <laughs>